when that moving object passes us, we sense a change in pitch. That's called the Doppler effect. If you're the engineer in the cab, then the pitch of your locomotive whistle always sounds the same to you. That's because you're moving along with the source of the sound. But if you're standing alongside the track when the train passes, you hear that familiar shift in pitch, the Doppler shift. The reason this happens is easy to understand once you visualize the waves. A stationary train sends out sound waves in perfect circles like the ripples on a pond. Let's start the train again. Now, the waves spreading out ahead of it get squashed together, and those spreading out behind it get stretched apart. The compressed waves have a higher frequency or pitch than the stretched out waves. The same thing is true for light waves. Color is to light, precisely what pitch is to sound. Compressed light waves are made bluer, they're blue shifted. Stretched out light waves are made redder, they're red shifted. Its work was difficult, routine, tedious. But although they didn't yet know it, Hubble and Hummison were meticulously accumulating the evidence for the Big Bang. They had found that the more distant the galaxy, the more its spectrum of colors was shifted to the red. All right, clear the telescope. I'm coming down now. If this redshift were due to the Doppler effect, the distant galaxies must be running away from us. At the end of his vigil, Hummison would retrieve the tiny galactic spectrum and carefully carry it down to be developed. Thank you, Mr. Nelson. I'm going to the dark room now. Good day. Good day, sir. Hummison found a redshift in almost every galaxy he examined, like the Doppler shift in the sound of a receding locomotive. And the farther away from us they were, the faster they were receding. Tied to the fabric of space, the outward rushing galaxies were tracing the expansion of the universe itself. An awesome conclusion had been captured on these tiny glass slides. Hummison and Hubble had discovered the Big Bang. At top and bottom are calibration lines that Hummison had earlier photographed. In the middle, is the spectrum of a relatively nearby galaxy. Every element has a characteristic spectral fingerprint, a set of frequencies where light is absorbed. Prominent here are two dark lines in the violet due to calcium in the atmospheres of the hundreds of billions of stars that constitute this galaxy. Nearby galaxies show very little Doppler shift. But when he recorded the spectrum of a fainter and more distant galaxy, he found the same telltale pair of lines, but shifted farther right toward the red. And when he examined a remote galaxy four billion light years away, he found that the lines were red shifted even more. This galaxy must be receding at 200 million kilometers an hour. The painstaking observations of Milton Hummison, astronomer and former mule team driver, established the expansion of the universe.